Hello, so hello YouTube. This is WF7i Homebrew. And uh, I just want to take a couple minutes to record hopefully a relatively short video um, just to let you know I'm still around. And I wanted to give a quick intro to kind of who I am and what my goals are with YouTube right now. So um, <clears throat> I am a, I guess what you could say, a retired electrical engineer. Um, I'm still working, but not as an electrical engineer. And I used to be uh, primarily working in the cell phone industry, but it's been about 10 years ago now. And uh, I did some stints in grad school. And it's kind of a long story, um, but I made a huge career change. I'm actually not, I'm actually professionally not working as an engineer at all anymore. I'm actually uh, working as a dietitian of all things, helping people with uh, diet and weight and things like that. Um, but I just want to give a, kind of a quick background on my interests. I'm a ham radio operator and uh, been a ham radio operator since I was 13. And uh, I think I started out in the hobby kind of as a shortwave listener back in the 80s. Uh, we're probably talking 1982, 1983. Um, some of you have come to this channel um, through uh, uh, Jill's channel um, and uh, the shortwave uh, listener's channel in his live chats. And some of you are here from, probably, I guess, here from uh, many years ago. And it's been probably seven or eight years ago now. I um, was kind of actively participating with another ham with a blog that he had. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he was interested in, in building, uh, making his own radio. So kind of homebrew ham radio. And uh, that was called the Solder Smoke Podcast, which I think is still going on. Honestly, I have not listened to his podcast in years. Um, <laughs> but um, um, I got some subscribers from that. So, um, But uh, I'm hoping to build this channel a little bit, get a few more subscribers, do more regular videos. And uh, what my goal is, is well, I'm kind of all over the place, honestly. Um, I mostly like to do building of various kinds. Um, and uh, I like to try to understand what I'm building, and if I can, do a little bit of analysis with what I build. Um, I am When I was an RF engineer, um, I really wasn't involved with serious design of circuits very much. I got into that a little bit in some grad school uh, research that I did, but um, I'm definitely not what I would call an RF designer or circuit designer um, by profession, even in the past. So, I mean, uh, what I try to do is mostly for fun. I am not an expert on a lot of these topics, um, but I do have some background, and I try to use that background when I can to try to explain what's going on. But there's still gaps in my knowledge, and there's still things I'm learning. Um, you know, case in point, I've been really struggling here lately, just trying to wind a transformer on a toroid, uh, uh, kind of for 20 meters, the transform impedance uh, four to one and I seem to only be able to get about a two to one and it's a long story uh, it's probably another video but for some reason no matter what I try no matter what cores I try no matter what turns ratio I try I can't seem to get more than about a two to one maybe three to one uh, voltage transformation um, anyway <laughs> so it's, there's weird things that I discover um, there's gaps in my understanding there's interesting things with the physics of some of these devices and that's the kind of stuff I try to explore a little bit. Um, a lot of times I have to kind of, in the interest of finish a, finishing a project, I have to kind of put some of these things aside where I get stuck and I can't figure it out. And I try to figure it out maybe later. Sometimes it's years later. Um, but uh, I, tr I like to try to document some of what I do on the video. And I think it's interesting to a lot of people. And... Um, and you know, and it's interesting for me too to go back and look to see what I did and try to you know see how I learned things and what I tried in the past and um, stuff like that. So I have a relatively modest, I guess, station. I've acquired a lot of junk parts over the years. There's a tremendous amount of junk behind me. My workbench is not very tidy at the moment, and we're also getting ready to move into a new house. Um, so I'm going to end up recreating a new workbench and new antennas. A whole new setup at the new place which will be kind of exciting and I'm sure I'll be doing videos um, kind of watching how that grows um, but my interests like I say primarily are in kind of 
building radios, playing with some radio-related circuits. They're not always going to be radios. Um, some of them might be kits that I purchase, and you know, I basically just kind of put it together and try it out on the air. And um, some of it's going to be like what I'm doing now with this direct conversion um, three-band radio. It's more or less uh, kind of my creation. Uh, there's kind of a basic circuit schematic that I started with, and then I added a lot of different features, and I kind of made it my own a little bit. And so it's kind of what I would call off-road. Um, it's not just stuffing a board and following instructions, although I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. Um, a lot of these kits are really educational, and um, I think they're enjoyable too, and that's really kind of its own hobby is building kits, I think. And in the process of building kits, you learn more and more about how these circuits work, and then you get to the point where you can sort of maybe design some of your own aspects of radios. Maybe you can make mods to a kit um, or make something totally your own. Um, some of the books that guide me, I think I've made reference to before. So Experimental Methods in RF Design um, has a lot of good information in it. I've actually got it laying here on the floor. <laughs> but uh, it's not a real new publication. I think this is you know, probably about 20 years old now. Um, another sort of guiding book in this area um, is Solid State Design for the Radio Amateur. It's an older book. I think that's vintage 70s, 80s. I've also got that one. I really haven't read too much into it. Um, I've got several college textbooks that I'll refer to sometimes for some of the theory of circuits and trying to remember stuff that I learned, you know, 20 years ago now or 30 years ago even. Um, and I, I find that process, you know, pretty fun and interesting to kind of go back and kind of relearn things that I learned in school and actually see the practical application with these circuits. Um, I guess my goal is not to, you know, I'm not out there trying to do anything novel really necessarily or... Um, impress anybody with my prowess and circuits. Um, I'm not necessarily trying to develop a gigantic following on YouTube, although it would be kind of nice to have a little bit more than I've got now maybe. Um, I guess, you know, to be able to do a live stream sometimes would be kind of fun if I had enough people, but you know, that's good. That, I think I'm up to like 85 subscribers, so that's going to be a while. I think you got you know, like a thousand or something to do that. Um, and I'm not really thinking of monetizing anything um, it looks to me like you can't really effectively monetize a tech channel too well unless maybe, you know, with ham radio or electronics, maybe, maybe more, um, like what Jill's doing with his, uh, uh, Windows 10 or something, um, I have a better following, but I think with ham radio and shortwave, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if you really can make a lot of money on that. And so that's not really my motivation right now, but, uh, you know, you never know down the road, I might, um, do something, but. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, my hope is to finish this uh, for now, to finish this uh, direct conversion radio. And then when I do finish it, I'm hoping to kind of update a blog. So I do have a blog um, that kind of is really kind of the main focus, I guess, in the past of what I did. I just did a blog. I didn't really do a lot of YouTube. But um, the two are going to kind of go hand in hand because if I want to show a circuit and kind of give more explanation, I'd rather just direct you to a blog rather than try to ramble through it. Um, but it's going to be kind of a combination of both, and I haven't really updated the blog in a while. But my hope is when this radio is finished, or at least as finished as it's going to be, um, I'm going to update the blog and direct people to look at that. Um, so looking ahead right now, I'm going to try to finish that direct conversion three-band receiver. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be some issues still, probably on 20 meters especially, due to that transformer problem. Um, but uh, down the road, if I figure it out, um, I may change that part out or do something different with it. Um, or I may just leave it well enough alone. I have a feeling the radio may work well enough um, without a perfect impedance transformation from the antenna. But, you know, my engineering background I guess I'm trying to be super precise and try to convert 50 ohms to 1500 or whatnot but uh, the reality is <clears throat> the radio really overloads pretty badly if you have a lot of strong signals coming in so it may actually be an advantage in this case to have a slight mismatch and not really have too strong a signal coming in. Um, beyond that radio um, there's an Arduino project that I want to get started on. Um, I just want to learn Arduino basically there's a lot of stuff out there with it. Um, there is some series of uh, podcasts from Ham Nation recently uh, 
where they're doing some kind of basic experiments with Arduino. And you can do a lot of things with Arduino. You can make displays with it and things like that and maybe SWR meters. And you can control your rotor for your antenna. And there's there's all number of things you can do with Arduino. And I I just never really used it. I don't know much about it at all. I haven't done any programming for decades. And so I thought it might be fun to kind of play with that. So that'll probably be the next thing I'll be looking at doing. I've got some kits back behind me here, some parts for a multi-band kit that I never built. Uh, I don't know if I ever will, <laughs> but I may look to do that. Um, we're going to have this move coming up, so that's going to interrupt a lot of things. Probably uh, probably till the fall, honestly. I think spring and summer are going to be tough. I think I'm just going to try to wrap up this radio, maybe do some Arduino, and that's going to be about it, honestly. But I might do some band scans or just some other fun things, show you the property, show you maybe some of the antenna work that I might be doing at the property. Um, what I found is um, I like watching other people's videos where they're just doing stuff in their shack, you know, playing on the bench. Um, so I'm sure, pretty sure the rest of you would like to see what I'm doing as well. I think it's mutual and we like to kind of see what we're involved with. So uh, I'll probably be doing that. It may not be, you know, earth shattering. Like I say, this is not going to be MIT research going on here. Um, there's not going to be anything amazing, but just me having fun and kind of discovering things about these circuits and these radios. So I hope you enjoy. It's already gone on a little long, so I'm going to cut it off here. And uh, as soon as I get an update with this radio, uh, I'm going to post that. I'm going to be trying to wrap that up. I, I really hope I can wrap it up this week. I think I have some time Friday, maybe this upcoming weekend. <laughs> I might be able to wrap it up. All right, you guys take care. Thank you for watching and uh, hang in there and I'll be back soon. Uh, 73.